Let me show you what's happening in China now. Yesterday I told you about the World Health Organization, or should I say the China Health Organization. It finally woke up from its slumber and said that China was undercounting Wuhan virus deaths. Well, let me say this. We were certainly not waiting for the WHO to call out China's cover-up. On this show, we let the pictures do the talking. Take a look at Shanghai, China's financial hub. As you just saw, these are chaotic scenes from a hospital. All people are hooked to oxygen tanks, emergency wards are full. One notice board advises patients to wait for five hours to be checked by doctors. Five hours. This is not an exceptional case. Hospitals across China look the same. Staff is overstretched, patients are queuing up for hours. Not just for urgent treatment, but also to mourn. You heard me right. These are the scenes from crematoriums in Shanghai. Dead bodies are laid out on stretchers. It's heartbreaking to watch. There's no denying it. People in China are dying from the Wuhan virus. And one funeral home is handling five times more corpses than usual per day. Those mourning their loved ones are being allowed only five minutes to say goodbye. It's morbid. China's healthcare system is overstretched, to say the least. Some say the entire system is broken. And these scenes are dystopian. How long can the regime look away? In fact, one expert says there could be one million or more deaths this winter from the Wuhan virus in China. One million. And he blames the lousy transition from zero COVID for these deaths. Listen in. Quite possible that there will be a million deaths or more this winter from COVID in, in, in China. And that number, it could have been much larger if, if China had opened two years ago and hadn't continued with zero COVID before vaccines were available. There would have been many, many more deaths for, from COVID in China. But at the same time, that number, one million or, or more, that could be a much lower number if, if there was a better preparation and possibly better timing for the, the transition away from zero COVID. China needed better preparation to transition from zero COVID. You heard him. It's something we've been saying again and again. China's zero COVID nightmare has led to more deaths. Chinese dictator Xi Jinping locked up millions at a time when the world was opening up. He quashed dissent, butchered the economy, and when zero COVID failed, he began his cover-up. The World Health Organization says, as of January this year, there are more than 112,000 COVID cases in China and 359 deaths. Meanwhile, China says only 22 people have died from the virus since December. I ask, where is the lie? Remember, China says only deaths caused by pneumonia and respiratory failure in COVID patients would be classified as COVID deaths. Even the China Health Organization, I mean the WHO, has called this definition too narrow. And while all this is happening, China is opening up to the world. It has removed most of its curbs and border controls. It has plans to unleash the Wuhan virus on the world again. In fact, China will reopen its borders with Hong Kong this week. Yes, no quarantine required, no on-arrival testing needed. Nearly three years after closing its borders, mainland residents can now travel overseas, possibly carrying the Wuhan virus with them. It's a recipe for disaster. On this show, we've repeatedly told you about the Wuhan virus cover-up. We've shown you scenes from hospitals, from crematoriums, from the streets. Now look at this headline. A spate of deaths among celebrities and public figures has raised alarm. It's leading to suspicion among Chinese citizens that their government is hiding the stark reality from them. This was actor Gong Jintang. He was a household name in China. He died at the age of 83 on New Year's Day. How? Nobody knows. The Chinese continue to mourn him. And this was Chu Lan Lan, a 40-year-old opera singer. She had performed during the 2008 Beijing Olympics. She has died. 
An obit released says that she died of an illness, but some reports say she died of the Wuhan virus. There are many more, an award-winning filmmaker, scriptwriter, retired soccer star, many more public figures who have died at a young age. The deaths were made public, but no one knew how they died, or shall I say, the reasons were speculated, never specified. In fact, there's a hashtag on Weibo. You know Weibo, a Chinese social media platform. The hashtag reads, the first COVID wave did not cause a massive amount of deaths. It has more than 220 million views. It refers to a quote from December from a Chinese health official. I ask again, where's the lie? Chinese social media is asking the same question. You see, people are putting two and two together. The Chinese regime may be able to change the criteria of deaths. It may be changing rules to suit its dictator. The government can even manipulate the official death toll. But where will you hide the dead bodies? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.